Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Darksiders War Mastered Edition. My name is Brian, your host and commentator, and here we are at the Twilight Cathedral, as you can see on the map in the bottom right. Look at that. It's nice. We're going to go ahead and head on through this door and get into a few shenanigans. Nothing too crazy very early on, but this place is cool. It's a really nice main dungeon. You got this fancy ass sword. An elaborate crystal blade identical to those mounted on statues throughout the cathedral. You can see this one's missing its blade. Hmm. Interesting. But there's a blade over here on the left side where the one missing one was. I guess we would that means we put this one in here. I can only imagine that would be the case. Dun, 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 dun. I love that little, like, I don't know, that Zelda-esque noise, but here we go, round two between Tiamat and the Angelic Beast. Let's see if the Angelic Beast can hold its own. By the way, I went back and tried the flight again to see if, like, the enemies you kill stack, and they do not. So you have to get 160 enemies killed um, within a single attempt, and I don't care about achievements, so I'm not going to do that. It'd be cool to show off, but it's an achievement, so I don't care. It doesn't doesn't count towards the completion for me, the 100% completion. I don't count achievements in completion because they, like, become outdated and, I don't know. Just fucked. So we got this guy hanging this heavy object over this crack in the floor. I wonder what we gotta do. As you can see, that this door over here is locked off for now. We have to take on these dust bats. Boom. Alone. I don't know why I said alone. We've been alone pretty much this whole game, but there's a part where we team up with someone, and that's coming up, and that'll be very cool. So we got this outside area, all those, like, fences, and, like, little posts, another crack in the floor. We got a few cracks in the floor. All these pens or poles and, like, fences and stuff can just be ran through, though. You can sna snag some uh, blue souls by doing that. Look at that. Boom. Got ourselves another barrier here that we need a beholder key for. This guy's just blocking all of my attacks. I did not mean to use that. Whoops! Boom, I was gonna try and just clock that guy. Chaos Eater should level up very soon. I'm very excited for that. I think I'm going to do this entire Twilight Cathedral section in one episode. It might be like an hour long, but I don't know. I just feel like this feels more appropriate. I hate splitting up like big dungeon sections like this into two episodes and stuff, you know. Just not a big fan of it. If I didn't ha if I didn't watch cutscenes and stuff in my walkthroughs, it probably wouldn't be as bad. Episode would be a bit shorter. Chaos Eater leveled up. Hell yeah, level two Chaos Eater. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Ba -do -ba -do. Gotta get that blue soul. Just like, ow, just bounces off it. So that hurt a little bit. Okay, so we came from that section. We got two doors that we can go through. Oh no, we don't. We only got one door. We can't go through that one. Silly, that one's up top there on the balcony. We have to work our way over there by using these bombs. Bomb growth. Grab and throw this sticky bomb onto objects and enemies before it detonates. Strike it for an instant explosion. Alright. Just go and stick it on that. I'll let it blow up on its own for this one. I don't really need to strike it. You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's get this health chest. I mosey on through here in this little lava room. Oh, jeez. That was... I had a really rough... 
Like, first jump there, it was like a little short, a little low for, for a jump that I needed to cross that gap. Anyways, I got across though just fine. We can go ahead and hover over here. This is where we'll get our second empty vessel. Well, it's actually not going to be empty. It's going to be full. Oh, this one has possession. Instantly increases. So I guess it's random. Wow. We don't even have that ability yet. Why would it give me that? I don't even have that ability yet for chaos form. We don't even have that yet. I'm glad I picked up the life essence. Jeez, I was like, I was thinking it might be a life essence if I didn't have one. That was a good call to not do that. Let's go ahead and grab a life essence while I was at Vulgrim's. While I was making a double V. So we got the map. Reveals the entire locale. Local map. Locale. Reveals the entire local map of the current location. Press the back one. Let's go ahead and kick this down. Break through that hole just as intended. Now I can see we have a map of the area though. Woo! That's all the floors too. It's nice. Yeah, this place looks pretty big. A lot of different levels, but there's really only two, like, big levels. The other levels in this place are, uh, the other floors are not very, not very, I don't know. There's not a lot going on. You just kind of go through some corridors, maybe hit up a room or two, and then you're out. So anyways, let's grab this soul chest. There's that guy again, just hanging on like a champ to that statue. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. Come on, bats. Grow up. Grow up and throw up. My goal is to get Chaos Eater to level 3 before we hit the second main dungeon. That's my goal. So anyways, now that we've taken care of all this stuff up here, we can go ahead and drop on through. Down the hole. And then, like, you don't bust through those somehow. It's like, nah. That fall wasn't intense enough. Have ourselves a bit of a shadow glide. As we wrap up these fools. Get out of here. Homies. I guess they're not my homies if I'm killing them and telling them to get out of here. If they were my homies, I'd be inviting them in. I'd be like, yo, come in for a cup of tea. Alright, so we got ourselves an artifact up here. We can leap across to grab like that. Artifact soldier. If at any point you need to go visit Vulgrim, feel free to do so. <laughs> you don't really have that luxury at the second main dungeon, but he sits right outside the first main one, so... Kind of gives you that luxury. It's nice. Okay... Get another glide over. Pull up. Or slide up this bad boy. Pull up, slide up. I don't know what kind of lingo would be necessarily used right there, but whatever, dude. the fuck down. I'm having a really good time enjoying enjoying this game. I'm having a really good time recording this game. I am enjoying recording and having a good time. I don't know. This one's coming really smooth to me. The recording process and the practice playthrough. And it's cool that I'm going through on a harder difficulty during the, the recording one because it mixes it up a little bit. The beholder's key. Woo! We need it. We, we saw a, a need for that earlier. We need to get back there. We can't. Yeah, that area is like locked off. That's right, I remember now. Ugh. This is how you're supposed to see that artifact is by reapproaching from this side of the hallway. It's like, by the way, asshole, you missed this. Way to be not perceptive about things, and it's like, come on, dude. It's kind of an action game. What do you expect? It's also a bit of exploration. I don't know, it's good. It's a Zelda game. Except without... It's a Zelda game minus the Zelda. And I'm totally okay with that, because it does the whole formula justice. So, <laughs> won't complain. Get slammed. I think I'm, uh... I think I'm gonna order those new Cheez-It stuffed 
like Pizone snacker looking thing. Not, I guess they're not Pizones, but like snacker things from Pizza Hut. Cause my my birthday's coming up, and they gave me a free side. And although those don't count as a side, I'm thinking of getting a, those and then getting a side of cinnamon sticks. It's, easy, it's either breadsticks or cinnamon sticks. It's, it's not a very good choice in the sides. All right, let's review the map really quick. So that door is locked. We cannot approach the north wing. I think we're about to... Are we about to... I think we are about to go through there. Holy shit, didn't know these guys were here. Ooh, nice 25 hit combo between two dudes. Ooh! Get him. Come at me, bro. Alright, let's go over here. Unlock this dough. Kick it open. Because we're angry. We're a very angry horseman. I have two chests to grab in here, but we have ourselves a little bit of a... Somewhat of a boss fight ordeal. Not really, like a mini boss. It's also not really like a, I don't know. These dungeons have like mini bosses, or at least this one also has a has like two bosses. You'll see. Ouch, dude. Well, damn, homie. Sorry, right, there's a health chest. That's why I'm kind of just tanking a lot of these hits. So I can just snag this health chest. And I'm at full health. Look at that. Grab the blue souls and then grab the sword. Oh yeah. Can't wait to find a pedestal to place this into. Or whatever. <laughs> a mount? I don't know. I think it's by that locked door though in the other room. If I remember correctly. Dun 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 dun. Alright. So, yeah, yeah. The Watcher's like, I'll help you out in case you forgot what the hell you were doing in this dungeon. I'm like, thanks, Watcher. That's why you're my friend. So, yeah, you can go visit Vulgrim again. Take a double V if you need to. I'm going to skip over that, though, for the sake of keeping this video a bit shorter. Do all that at the end. Whatever I entered this dungeon with, that's what I'm stuck with. I think I can handle it. I'll be all right. Alrighty then. These two are still going at it. Come on, guys. Can't we reconcile? I guess not. I do need her heart, so I don't know how well that's going to go. Okay, we got ourselves a little bomb rock here. There's a sword of Rue. We can pull from it. What we need to do, though, here is toss the <laughs> Jeez, I saw that last second. It was just like, whoop! Just toss it in there. What we need to do is blow that open so we can get ourselves a life shard. Yeah, baby. On on our way to, or whatever, on track to getting another health bar. I'm excited. Both those doors are locked. That This main door here with the barrier we cannot access until the end of this dungeon because, holy shit, I totally forgot this guy was here. That's why we have the bomb rock thing to begin with. But uh, that's where the, the final boss fight for this dungeon will be, so... Cannot access that section yet. Don't even worry about it. Let's head over here for now. And we're going to have to deal with these guys. We're not going to have the awesome Chaos Eater. With its super duper strength abilities. Capabilities. Which means I am all about executing these guys. Because it's not going to give me any experience towards my sword. Ooh, 
Did not mean to attack that bomb like that. Execute you. Come on, asshole. There we go. All this shit should disappear now. We can just place the sword in the this little spot. Nice. We don't appreciate being locked out of of areas of doors. So there's all this 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 area over here to the right, which actually has three chests over there, but we cannot get those yet. But there is, however, an artifact that we can get right here. Boom, snag that real real quick. That's the first champion artifact we're going to get. I wish I would have read that, but don't worry. We'll get five more of those, and hopefully I'll remember to read the inscription or whatever then and there. Let's go ahead and climb up here. I can also jump across this roof right here. I wouldn't recommend it, though. This is a bit of an easier way. A lot less room for error this route. I'll push this bad boy down. And then push it over here. Now we've got two ways to go. Well, no, we don't. We only got one, actually, but this one is... That's that's where the other uh, three chests would be. Or that's where they're located, <laughs> where they would be. Get your shit together, Brian. That's where the other three chests are located that I just looked at. We have that Snatchy McSnatcher up there that'll grab you if you try and get through there. So that's no bueno for now. For now, what we need to do is hurt this guy so he'll drop this big statue conveniently. Busted through that uh, that floor there that we can now drop down to revisit this lower section. I like to punch the ground when I land, cause I'm war. That's what war does. He punches ground when he lands. Like doing one right there. Woo! Is that everyone? Was that a little ambush? Guards or something? This is our hallway. Like, what were they doing? That was like a. I don't know. That was a five on one. That was unfair. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, a health chest. Ooh. We're going to save that health chest for now. We got to go ahead and break open this. This is snazzy thing. That's a cool little gizmo we got there. Crossblade, a finely crafted throwing blade that can strike multiple targets. Enter aim mode by pressing the right thumbstick down and select up to five targets by holding left trigger. Press right trigger to throw the crossblade. Ooh. It's like, here's how you do this stuff. Practice on these, practice on these bats. I'm like, okay. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and charge it up. Just catch these bats until they die. Ugh. Is that all of them? All right, it looks like all of them. Oh, we got a new guy here. Oh, no, this isn't a new guy. Not quite yet. That's why I wanted to save that health chest. 
So I'm like, I'll take a little bit of damage during this fight, most likely. Whoa, almost went off the ledge there. Here we go. Now's the new guy. He's like, hey, I'm new to this. Oh, man, he's got a lot of poison on him, though, so you're going to want to spin that off. He's being a Toxic Tom, you know? Like, get out of here, Toxic Tom. People ask about him. They're like, have you heard of Tom? I'm like, I'm like, that guy's toxic. I'd stay away from him if I were you. He just, he just says the worst shit. Spreads lies and rumors. Cutting toxic people out of my life, Tom. Sorry. Had to send him a scissor emoji via text message. <laughs> Change his recipient name. Or not recipient name, but the, uh, whatever it is. His name in my, my phone book to Toxic Tom. It's like cutting you out. You're too toxic. Let's go ahead and see what the Watcher has to say since that little icon popped up there on the right. Oh, you mean like that? I think this is the first fucking Zelda game I've ever played. Jeez, Watcher. Ignorant fuck. He's an asshole anyway. I don't feel bad about calling him mean names because he's a jerk. Go get rid of that. Let's go ahead and activate this bomb. Go ahead and jump up here too. Got ourselves another barrier we can't get past, but don't worry. We'll get past that soon enough. Let's go ahead and activate the second bomb real quick. Clear off those red crystals from the damn statue here. So we can move it on up. It's gonna it's gonna raise a switch for us to activate. It's gonna give us access to a few new areas we get to explore, so that'll be fun. It's gonna be exciting. Dun 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 dun. I feel like you can make a beat off of that. Activate that that bomb. Imbue crossblade. The crossblade can absorb arcane energy from certain targets it strikes. Press the right thumbstick down to aim and throw the blade with the right trigger at an energy source. Tagging multiple targets will transfer energy from the source to all targets. So yeah, in this case, that arcane energy is fire. So just left trigger and then toss it. Light all those bomb rocks up. Bomb growths. I'm going to call them bomb rocks. I feel like that fits the name of them better. It's basically what they are. I don't know. Bomb rocks. I don't know why I call them that. Pikmin. I'm getting, I'm getting it from Pikmin, I guess. Okay, so now we have this, uh, this little section here with three different areas we can go. Let's go toward... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do the left section. There's also a health chest in here if you need it. It's uh, I guess it's on the other side. opposite. Yeah, it's over there, tucked away. Grab that um, after we clear out this left side here. We got three statues in the center there that you saw. All three of them are missing swords, though. That's not good. We have got to deal with that problem. We are having an issue. These statues are swordless. We do see these two cranks, though, on the left and the right that we can pull. Maneuver them. Whatever. We got this thing. If you head over here, this bad boy, isn't, it just isn't happening. These cogs not turning. We got some red crystalline substance blocking the path. Whatever you want to call it. So we got to take care of that. There's bomb rock over there to the left. It's inept, but whatever. I think it's inept. Maybe it's not. Oh, no, it is inept. But we got to go ahead and grab this artifact because once we grab that bomb rock, you cannot jump. And I think jumping up here is a little... It could be a little tricky going from this cog to this cog. Probably not too bad, but I don't think you can ledge grab onto these cogs. So just a heads up. And you cannot double jump when you're holding a bomb rock. No double jumping here. This game's like, uh-uh. Inert bomb growth. Grab and throw this dormant sticky bomb on objects and enemies. Use fire to detonate it. I feel like we established that long ago. But anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and just toss it there and then we'll ring those two up real quick back to back. Make our way over here. Now we've cleared the way for the cogs. 
for gears to move. Can hop up here and then hop up here. Kind of a roundabout way. This is the way you don't take damage getting back. You can just basically jump into the fire and you'll appear back up top if you wanted to. Oh my god, go. Why can't I reach to see, like, what the fuck, dude? Oh, now it lets me grab those. What the hell? Anyways, alright, let's go ahead and turn this. And as soon as you turn it, immediately get on this middle part because you're going to miss it if you don't. It's going to start going without you. Whether you like it or not, it's like, hey, we're going. This is happening. This is a real deal. All right, let's head over here. What we got to do here is make ourselves a little little pathway, a little, little bomb rock, I don't know, pathway towards that uh, red crystalline substance blocking the path. Those are those are a bit close. You can actually spread them out, spread them out a bit more. Spread, spread them out a bit more than that. I'm gonna use all five. You can throw up to a maximum of five. I'm gonna use all five just for flavor. Let's go ahead and activate that. Whoops. And then I ruin the flavor by going into a menu. Hell yeah! Give me access to that crank, boy. Let's go ahead and turn this. See what this does. Probably helps us get the sword that we need. Just a wild guess. All right, rose that 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 um switch there. Oh, we missed it. That's okay. We'll catch it on its way back. We have some fire bats to deal with currently. Ah, oh, shit! No, you need a bomb growth. Oh man, yeah, grab a bomb growth before you you head over. I'm just gonna toss it from here. Deal with that in a second. I got these fucking bats to. Got some ass to whoop with these bats. I got some badass to whoop. I gotta whoop a bat. I gotta whoop a bat's ass real quick. I'll see you at noon. <laughs> like, I don't know. All right. So we activated that one, but it didn't do anything when you activate just the one. Something's up. Let's go ahead and target these two. Bing, bing. And we're in. Not too bad. Not too shabby. We are in. Get this third crank. Hopefully we'll get back in time for this thing to catch us on its spin around, and we will. Nice. Not before more bats. <laughs> Not if this bat has anything to say about it. He's like, I have a problem with this scenario right here. And I'm like, why? Just fucking leave me alone. All right, anyways, now that we can activate both switches, though. Go ahead and head over there. Hit both of those. Stop this lava flow. It's a nicely designed mechanism here to prevent access. Just keeps the lava on the sides. Soul chest and what is this? A health chest, I believe. It's a two soul chests. It's two soul chests. Sexy. And we'll grab the sword. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. I guess this thing stops turning, so that's nice, because it doesn't really need to turn anymore. Thank God. Alright. Drop on down here and put it in. I don't know if it matters which one you put it in. Like, will it let me... I'm going to find out. I'm going to put it in this one. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. I put it in this one last time. But I suppose it doesn't matter which ones you put it in. Alright, I'm going to get this chest now because I know I'm going to forget it later. Not that I need it, but whatever, dude. I don't care. Probably won't take too much damage in here anyways in the second 